Hi everyone, Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about ovarian cysts. The reason why I'm going to talk about ovarian cysts today is because this actually literally just happened to me over the weekend. So, um, well my weekends start Thursday nights. Um, so Thursdays are my Friday. And what happened was my husband, I like, okay, he always messages me throughout the day and um, I was kind of painting and uh, painting um, and um, working out and taking care of the kids all kind of at the same time because my kids like to work out with me and they like to paint with me and draw with me too. So nonetheless, I started feeling pain on Thursday night, um, July well, let me see what day it is. Today is July 12th. It would have been July something, um, 2020, 21, just for the people who are watching this in case this is really, really old video and people watch it in the future. Um, it was last week from July 12th, 2021 today. And what happened was I just started feeling sudden pain. I thought that I tore like a little muscle or or had like sciatic I don't know how to say it nerve pain in my leg um, I also had pain in my abdomen too but all the pain was on the left side I thought I was having a kidney stone because I've had kidney stones too so I'm thinking okay time to go to the to the ER because I bet I'm having another kidney stone that's what I told my husband so my husband says, okay, yeah, let's just go because um, I talk about this in my previous videos. I'm not in the best health because I'm a cancer survivor. So I'm in the in and out of the ER quite often. But this was, yeah, he knew it was time to go So because I know my body really well. Go to the ER. They put the oxygen thingy, we are, whatever it's called. I don't remember. Oxygen reader on my finger. Um, that looked great. They did my blood pressure. That was a little high, but I have anxiety, panic attacks, so when I get to the ER, it's always kind of high. And um, they say that that happens to a lot of people that go to the ER, too, that it's kind of high when they first take their vitals. So it was 140-something over 110 or something like that. Um, and uh, then um, they took blood out of my arm right there. And, uh, they drew for hemoglobin, hemoglobin, like your iron and stuff. Um, the, like, I'm sure they checked for sepsis, septic or whatever it's called, um, which is poison in your blood. Um, they check for like your elect electrolytes and other things like that. Um, I'm not a doctor by any means. I'm just say stating a few things that I know for a fact that the hospital I go to checks for. They check for a lot more too, but um, they checked my TSH, TSH for um, my thyroid level because I don't have a thyroid due to cancer. So they checked all of that. I was still in so much pain that um, I couldn't lay on my back because when I laid on my back, the pain hurt worse. It felt like the beginning stage stages of labor. And if anybody has had a baby before, you know what that feels like. So I was in a pretty good amount of pain, but it wasn't like the, I, to be honest with you, it wasn't the worst pain I've ever had in my life. Cause again, I've had kidney stones, I've had babies and my, my ovary did not burst. So that's the difference. My ovary did not burst. My cyst didn't burst, nothing like that. Well, my, well, my cyst did in a way, I guess, because my cyst was a bleeding cyst. So, um, it's called, a uh, hemorrhagic, uh, ovarian cyst. I don't know if I'm saying that hemorrhaging part right, but you guys know what I mean. So it's, it was a hemorrhaging cyst and it was bleeding a little bit, but, um, so what the doctors did was they gave me hydrocodone, um, and they sent me, they, after they checked my vitals and did a CT scan, they did a CT scan too. I forgot to mention that. Um, and when they looked at the CT scan, that's when they found out I had the cyst. So I'm kind of mixing my story around. Sorry. I'm not really good at telling stories and I'm definitely not a professional YouTuber, obviously. So 
but they when they did the CT scan and everything, that's how they found out I had a cyst. But they, when they saw it and everything, it wasn't nothing. Like it wasn't like an emergency situation with my cyst. So they just sent me home with pain med. Told me to follow up with my OB if I had like any pain or anything like that, like extra, like worse than what I was having or a fever or like feeling fainty or any of that, then go to the ER um, is what they told me. So I made an appointment with my doctor. I still haven't seen him yet um, because the appointment that the ER doctor wanted me to do um, was for my OB doctor to take an ultrasound, which is different from a CT scan. Um, the ultrasound would have been really be able, would have been really been able to tell, um, like the size of the cysts, the size of my ovaries, the, like a lot of different things that a CT scan, there's, they're both different. So, um, they... I, um, tried to make one with my OB and I shit you not, my OB was on vacation, my family doctor MD was on vacation, and my oncologist, my cancer doctor, was on vacation. Um, I'm not downing them at all because, um, everybody needs a vacation, especially doctors. Um, I know a little bit about that because I have um, families, I have doctors in my family on my dad's side of the family. And also I was a CNA. So, um, the medical field, I'm very aware of how things work. So, um, I don't blame them for going on vacation, but they were on vacation on the same time, which was a nutty coincidence because I'm sitting there like, okay, what am I going to do now? I have to literally go back to the ER just to get an ultrasound because since I need one ASAP as soon as possible is what the other ER doctor told me the night, the prior night that we went there. Um, then yeah, I needed to get one. So I went back to the ER the next day and they had told me, okay, we got to repeat the blood work and all that just to make sure how you're doing. So they repeated the blood work, the hemoglobin, my oxygen, my other vitals, like my blood pressure and all that and everything, again, looked great. They did the ultrasound and um, then I had to wait for a while to for the radiologists and all them to take a look at it and see what they thought and then read it and tell it to the doctor and blah, 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 blah. So I'm waiting. They did give me pain medicine. They did give me an IV, um, like saline and all that. And... Um, I, even with the medicine, I still felt like a dull pain in my back and it was like in my lower back, kind of, kind of by my tailbone, but, but a little more to my left of my tailbone. So it was, it's weird, but I read about the reason why you have pain in your tail, in your back when you have an ovary and it's because there's only limited space. So, um, if it's big enough, it'll create that pressure in your back, which is why a lot of women complain about not only abdominal pain, but they can feel it in the back. Depends on big how big your cyst is too. So here comes the part where I'm about to tell you guys what size my cyst was. They um got done discussing things and all that. The doctor comes in and he tells me my cyst is 4 cm. So my cyst was big, but my, you know, I was off of the ovary for 4 cm. My cyst was big, but not, not really, not dangerously to where I needed surgery and stuff like that is, is what the doctor said. Um, so I, he just told me, make sure you make an appointment with your OB, even though, um, you got the ultrasound with us, still follow up with him. And then see what he says. And uh, I think that he's just going to watch it. So I haven't seen the OB yet. But I'm going to do a part two of this video. After I see my OB. And I'm going to let you women know. Um, what he says to me and stuff like that. But essentially the ER doctor told me that what he thinks is going to happen. Is the OB doctor of mine 
is just going to keep doing repeat ultrasounds here and there. So, um, in the next three months, I'm going to have another repeat ultrasound just to make sure that it's going down or that it's make sure that it's completely healed. So like, as I'm looking back at all, everything, um, I'm thinking I've had this cyst for a while because here's why for me, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know everything. So if you guys have other questions, you might want to Google or call your own doctor to find out. Um, you know, you can mention my video or you could say, Hey, there's a, you know, a, 10, 15 minute video. I wanted to show you a couple of parts in it. I have questions about this. You can do that too, but I'm just saying I'm not a doctor, but, um, so, uh, basically what I was going to say is that, um, the cyst thing, I've been not getting any sleep. Um, I've been worried that it, it's going to burst, which the doctor told me the ER doctor, this is why I was saying I'm not a doctor. This ER doctor told me that even if it did, I would be okay because things would get taken care of and stuff. And I know, but I'm scared to death. And also, um, so you can take ibuprofen too or Tylenol, I guess is what they said. Um, but, um, I, I get my menstrual cycle here in the next six-ish days and I am not sure if it gets a little bit bigger when you have your period. Because I was reading somewhere online. Don't know where. Doctors always say don't Google things. I was reading somewhere online that they, they can get a little more inflamed when uh, you have your menstru menstrual cycle and stuff. So I don't know. But I guess we all get cysts on our ovaries is what this doctor was telling me. And, um, but what happens usually is we get a little like pimple type cyst thing on our ovary after we ovulate. And then that usually like pops or goes away and everything's okay. But for some reason, mine did something funky this, this month. And I think I know why I th personally think that it happened to me because I'm having hormonal problems with my TSH for my thyroid being all over the place because right now it's not good. I found out that it was like below one, which which means I'm hyperthyroid. And you guys can Google what hyperthyroid means. So um, I'll have to make another video for hypo hypothyroid and hyperthyroid too. I just thought of that. That's a good idea. But um, I thought I would get on and share my story with you guys because there was, I mean, I was scared when this happened to me. It never happened to me in my whole life before and I'm going to be 36 in October. So um, ever since I was 12 to now with my menstrual cycles, nothing ever like this has ever happened to me. So I wanted to share my story so in case somebody else is scared or curious or whatever. Sorry, that was kind of bad. Um, but then you, ha you have my video you could look at. And other there's tons of other videos that I watched too on YouTube um, that helped me in and made me realize that, okay, this is common. This is more common than you think. And that you'll definitely be okay. And that... There is a chance of death, but it's very rare is what I was told from my doctor, the ER doctor, and I was also seeing that all over online. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so ovarian cyst, and I guess there's many different types of ovarian cyst, uh, but the one I'm talking about that I had was the hemorrhagic um, basically hemorrhaging cyst. I can't pronounce the hem hemorrhage part. So, um, but yes, I, I will get back to you guys tomorrow, um, with part two, or wait, I won't get back to you guys with part two tomorrow. I will get back to you guys with part two of this video after I see my doctor. But other than that, I'll be on with another life topic tomorrow. Thank you guys.